and I am, uh, or I was elected to the, uh, appointed to the Human Relations Commission for Los Angeles County by Supervisor Molina. Uh, and I, and uh, I know that most of you, or some of you may not be from, from Los Angeles, so I would really encourage you to look at, at wherever county you res reside in to, and I prepared a small PowerPoint for you, uh, just letting you know about, for example, the Los Angeles County, uh, Los Angeles County appointment process. Uh, this was enacted first, or they started meeting in 1852 by the Board of Supervisors. Uh, this is to encourage citizen involvement uh, with expertise to assist in board and uh, serving the community. And the commissions were established to help the board deal with many and varied duties and responsibilities. As you just saw right now, there's, uh, they were their com uh, uh, commissioners to the ports, commissioners to, uh, to uh, take care of the animals, to over oversee those different types of jurisdictions. Mine was uh, human relations, and I would uh, lovingly refer to mine as the Kumbaya uh, Committee, where let's get along. I, I have a master's in theology, and so we had, we're trying to make a county more, more of a lovable, a better place to live in Los Angeles County. That's, that's, uh, that was our goal as a, commi as, a, as a committee, as a commission. Uh, the second slide. The, the appointment opportunities just alone in Los Angeles County today, there are 191 commissions, committees, task forces, and special district agency boards. In and Los some, Angeles alone. In Los, Los Angeles, Angeles County alone, alone. Yes. yes. So, and each one of those 191 commissions, task committees, task force, they get in the very, maybe between three, five, seven, twelve uh, appointees each one. So, uh, so it would be good to talk to your supervisors wherever you live in the state get to know them. Um, the, the next slide. The goal of the commission, uh, these are created by the state and federal law, county ordinance, and by action of the Board of Supervisors. Uh, for example, the Commission for Women, the Commission of Disabilities, and various other uh, provide forums for citizen input and accessibility to county government. The board relies on these groups to advise them on a wide range of issues affecting their constituencies and to assure that they are responsive to the community needs. For example, if you're a young dem, uh, what are the issues that affect uh, uh, young people? They may be uh, parks and recreation, they may be uh, business businesses, they may be young entrepreneurs. Uh, there's a number of number of uh, commissions, the Commission of Status of Women, Disabilities. Uh, young people are also veterans, uh, they, they have served our country. So there's a number of opportunities uh, that exist just alone at the county level. If you can hit the next slide. Uh, these are tips on getting appointed. Uh, Number one is get to know the member, and by getting to know the member, get to know their office, get to know their staff, uh, uh, make yourself uh, uh, also available or, or let, them, let them know who you are. Second one is have your resume ready, updated, uh, have it ready to transfer it to them, to staff, to the office, if they so, if they so uh, call or ask you for, it, for, uh, for an appointment. Then be flexible and open to the appoint, appointment process. You may be uh, interested in parks and recs, or you may be interested in serving in, uh, on the animal board, animal control board. You may want, they may, they may have an opening for you in veterans or women's affairs or disabilities. There's a number, so be, be flexible and open to this. Uh, number, number four is uh, follow up on the forms. As soon as you receive the forms from their office, I wish I would have uh, shared uh, the forms that they sent, but they don't have them electronically. They will mail them to you if you're invited to, to uh, to, uh, to apply to be serving one of these commissions. And the fifth tip is to volunteer and to be active, to be active uh, uh, at any time of their office by volunteering. They, they have a lot of community events, get to know your supervisor, get to know the staff. Uh, if they have, uh, for example, this is something I would do, a homeless count. Once a year, the county of LA would go, they would dispatch volunteers to go uh, and, into certain parts of our cities, of our county, uh, under under bridges, by freeways, by uh, industrial areas, to make sure that we have an accurate count uh, for homeless, uh, and this is this is something that you may want to volunteer. Or there's a number of things that, that you are that there are opportunities to volunteer. Okay. Cool. And this is uh, sliding this contact information. So yes. Feel free to harass. <laughs> yeah. And also about business cards as, as well. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, so what I what I would love to do is care of everyone. Make sure you're nice to everyone from 
the person who receives that fax, they can intercept it there, and that could be just the end of your documents, end of, uh, of your applications, to so make sure to treat everyone with dignity and respect. Also, the other advice I would also give is that get to know the member who is gonna do the appointment or their staff. Get to know their style. Get to know if they are, if they are, uh, want you to do, be on the commission and be the status quo, or if they, the status quo, or they, or if they are uh, bomb throwers and they want to be radicals. They want to, you know, rock the boat. You want to make sure that you're aligned with the right team. You don't want to be throwing bombs if it's a member that is, wants to continue with the status quo. Get to know their style. Get to know their staff. And uh, if they want you to check in before votes, or if they want you to be an independent and and speak your mind, it's very important to 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 distinguish that, to know that. Uh, so that you serve effectively and you serve the, the members or whoever is the appoint, if it's the governor, the mayor, the supervisor, that you represent them well while on the commission. That, that's a, actually, that brings a really good point. You were appointed to this position by an elected official, right? Whether it's the mayor, the governor, um, or the county supervisors. Um, that means you can get yanked off at any minute. Any minute. And you need to be um, very clear uh, with their style because mm -hmm. we just had a situation on the commission where they had to, we, we had to put in a new president and new vice president well the person who they wanted to be the president did pick up the phone <laughs> okay and I picked up my phone because I said oh that's the mayor's deputy let me see what's going on and she was like look this is what we'd like to see but no problem got it I had to tell him what was going on that wasn't a good look for him you know so you have to just really be mindful of the member that put you there and uh, you can get yanked off at any moment. Do not think that they will hesitate to pull you off, because they will not. <laughs> we serve at their pleasure. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. It's not the business to be in if you can't be humble, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, this is really valuable. I love how this keeps going, but it looks like we have 10 minutes left. So does anyone have any questions they'd like to ask about?